Hey everybody, Dr. Andrews here, chiropractic neurologist at PC Wellness Centers. Thanks for watching this video. So today we're gonna to talk about our condition of the week, which is migraine headaches. Uh, what they are, maybe what causes them, and what to do about them if you have migraine headaches. So I'll get to that in a second. Every week we like to put out these videos, Dr. Persley and I, about different conditions. And usually, um, you know, we, we call them the condition of the week, and usually they're conditions that people typically don't correlate with chiropractic or don't know that chiropractors treat. Remember, 20% of the population has is the only have ever been to a chiropractor. Um, so most people don't even know, number one, that chiropractic is an option, but two, that it's an option for some of these different conditions. Uh, so today, migraine headaches. So headache pain is the most common type of pain. Almost everyone on the planet has had some sort of headache, and there's different kinds of headaches. There's tension headaches, um, there's sinus headaches, there's menstrual headaches, there's uh, suboccipital or kind of neck generated headaches. Um, and migraine headaches, okay? And migraine uh, research shows affects 30% of the population. I think that's a little bit higher. I think some people get classified into those other headaches when they actually have migraines. Um, and migraines, they're not fun. They're debilitating. I used to have them when I was a kid. I don't have them anymore, uh, but I remember them, you know, frankly, just throbbing, pulsing headaches. I hated it. I'd have to tuck my head in a couch when I was little um, until they went away. Um, so, you know, migraine headaches are, like I said, pulsing, throbbing pain on one side or both sides of your head and just feel them deep in your brain. Um, they can last from four hours to, you know, 72 hours. Uh, and some people have an aura with them, you know, light, wavy lines, flashing lights, um, nausea. There's a whole bunch of other uh, little symptoms that people have with their migraines. Um and migraines can also be classified into different categories. So you can have migraine headaches with that aura. You can have migraine headaches without the aura. Uh, you can have the aura or the weird symptoms even without headache pain. And then there's trigeminal migraines and there's other migraine headaches, some that cause dizziness. Um, but we're going to talk about just the typical migraines that most you know of that 30% of the population or more get. Uh, so what causes migraines? Nobody knows. I don't know. We don't know. Uh, medical doctors don't know. Not many people know, okay? You know, there's some neurological studies that show there's some sort of wave of, you know, depolarization of, of the neurons and whatever part of the brain it affects, it gives you whatever kind of pain or secondary symptoms. Uh, but nobody knows, okay? There's research that shows there may be some environmental triggers smell triggers, food triggers. Uh, you know, I mean, there's just so many anecdotal studies and case studies out there that no one really knows, okay? Now, in our practice, we have great success with headaches and with migraines. Um, Dr. Persley and I have some advanced education on diagnosing and treating these migraines and our migraine patients get better. So one of the top causes that we find is, um, you know, significant misalignments in these top couple vertebrae. Okay, um, you know, up there, the nerves and the spinal cord, right where it attaches to the brainstem, there's a lot of connections and misalignments in the neck uh, with the top couple vertebrae or muscle spasms can definitely cause some aberrant signals and miscommunication and can cause some migraine headaches. Uh, and we definitely see that in our practice, you know, almost every single day. Um, so, you know, Another cause is loss of, a, of your cervical curve, okay, your neck curve. Hopefully you can see me, I'm gonna turn sideways. So some people have uh, a forward head posture and they've lost their curve. But when you do that, you don't just continue to look down. Your eyes, there's a reflex in your brain. Your eyes, your brain bring your eye, brings your eyes level with the horizon. It's called the riding reflex, okay? So you're like this, but you don't look down. Your brain brings you like this and you get a lot of pinching up here in these little muscles that connect your top couple vertebrae to your skull, okay? Um, so a lot of the causes, you know, uh, one of the causes that we find is some musculoskeletal and some nerve issues in the upper neck. We treat that on every single patient. Um, so the goals is to, with, with chiropractic and the other complementary things that we do, I'll talk about in a second, is number one, to decrease the frequency of the headaches. 
um, either the time that they have the headaches or how often they have them. You know, some people have them every single week. Some people have them twice a week, you know, but they're, they're constant and progressive for a lot of people. So the goal is to decrease the frequency and also to decrease the intensity. We don't want them to be as strong. And hopefully with chiropractic, and usually we do, is we do both. We get rid of them completely. And if we don't, our patients don't have them as much. And when they do, they're not near as severe. So along with the specific chiropractic adjustments that we do, we do soft tissue treatment. We work on the muscles, trigger point therapy, uh, activities of daily living, ergonomics at work sleeping pillow acupuncture if you know if if we need to so there's a lot of different things that we do as chiropractors supplements there's just some great specific supplements for migraines um, if you want to know any other information just comment down below please like i said like this video and share it with anyone that has any kind of headaches especially migraines um, you know we always offer free consults for anybody who has questions about their migraines or wants to come in and get some more information about how we do things uh, I rambled on enough. Hopefully you guys learned some stuff about migraines and know what to do. Come see us. I really appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time out of your day. Bye.